Welcome back. Margaon police rescued a female broad for flash trade in Goa. Three agents have been arrested. Around five people were engaged into flash trade under the garb of hair cutting saloon. Police raided premises with the help of an NGO. The female has been sent to protective home in Mises and the agents are remanded to four days police custody. Krishna Mandal uh, was a West Bengal. This is Raju Mandal, all West Bengal. Also. Sikandar Ali, oh, Uttar Pradesh. Hey, the guys are doing a hair cutting salon. One of them is doing a flora chair, a prostitution activities. So, we have information. I'm going to so we confirm that information, and with the help of NGO, Arz Foundation, Anji Madad Gyo Nami, Punch Gyo Na, Dikai Customer Dado Nami, Red Conduct Kedi. Ani thanga amga ek female, je prostitution au. Udinle, Takami rescue kele, Anik team loka on the spot ami arrest kele, and the Ani Dunzo Lukasa, the Jitian Pandurang Jado Man Bombay, who claims to be husband of that rescued girl victim, Taka, is resident of Mumbai, and Sri Abilash Bamberi Komath, or Kerala, so he is the licensee of that premises. Hakai be ami arrest kele, so total five people are arrested. One girl has been rescued. Goa is one of the shortlisted eight centers for FIFA Under-17 World Cup to be held in 2017. The official selection of the cities will be done by FIFA after they inspect all the shortlisted centers, including Delhi, Bangalore, Pune, Kolkata. Mumbai, Kochi and Guwahati. Goa Football Association President and AIFF Vice President Srinivas Tempo Rabisht reports that some of the shortlisted centres have already been confirmed. He also claimed that Goa has a bright chance of hosting the World Cup. During a press conference on Friday morning, Tempo clarified that Goa and seven other centres are all fighting for the six slots available to host the 24-team World Cup. Goa has a very, very bright chance. Uh, I also verified with All India Football Federation. There was some press article which came saying that there have been five which have already been uh, shortlisted and the sixth is still in which Goa is listed. This is false. Uh, there has to be a technical committee. Uh, no one can ensure uh, saying that, uh, you know, the president of GFA is not an extra cost constitutional authority to ensure that Goa gets selected. We only have to make efforts. And the GFA has made utmost efforts and thanks to the cooperation of government of Goa, we have got that cooperation and the feedback. And, but we cannot ensure unless the FIFA inspecting team comes here, inspects all the grounds, inspects all the infrastructure. Goa's infrastructure has been boosted of late and the practice facilities are also of a very high standard, according to GFA Vice President Elvis Gomes. Uh, today we can uh, boast of really world-class infrastructure. For football, besides the main football, Fatorda football ground, today we have five top quality surfaced practice grounds. We will also be getting at the besides the swimming pool at Margaon, another synthetic turf of the same quality or better quality as we have in Duler. A sports editor Neeraj Prabhu with video journalist Dinesh Karpe from Panji. And with this we come to an end of this news bulletin. Keep watching Prudin. Goodbye. Tumi Purita Prudent. You're watching Prudent.